Hi guys, so today I'm going to talk about the dark truth in Dress to Impress and something scary behind it. Especially about this nail salon worker, this woman over here, and her name is called Lana. So she says she does nails, right? But look at the back behind her. There's a board with a bunch of missing pictures. Look. Oh my gosh. There's a person called Motor Princess, a DR band official, and Sub Missy. Oh my gosh, I think these are deaths of workers in the past that are pasted behind her. You guys know about the April Fool's update? Well, it's not the same as it used to be ever since the update passed. Well, as you can see on top over here, we have the secret mystery diary. Oh my gosh, let's go closer and have a look. It says, Dear Diary, this isn't me. They replaced me with some doppelganger. <gasps> what? That's just sitting at my desk. It's not, is that not her? I don't know who that is. That's not me and I am Lana. She's not. And she's pretending to be me. I don't know where I am. And multiple princes hold me somewhere. I need to escape. Please help me. I hope this thing is sitting at my salon and the salon chair doesn't harm my image. <gasps> and she, I think she's the reason why I've gone missing. Wait, what? That's insane. And look at the right side. Find me, my user ID. We have this user ID over here. Let's go see if she does exist. We have to search up this user ID. This is so creepy, right, guys? Apparently, she's been called a nail lady, even though she has a name. She wants to take revenge, I guess, on people, I think. Anyways, let's go search up the mysterious ID code. Let's go. Okay, guys, if you insert the ID code in Roblox, this will come up. Lana's profile. Lana does nails. And here in the description, it says, trust me, I'll be back soon. My reign will never be over. You just killed one of me. What does that mean? Is that multiple versions of her? <gasps> I think there has been some development since April Fruit. So let's quickly investigate the mystery of Lana. Next, let's scroll down and see what type of group she's in. A group called Sao Daddy. Huh? And then a plague. Oh my gosh, there's so many members in the first one and the second one too. And then Dress and Impress, obviously. If we scroll up to the top again, there's like a YouTube channel channel which we'll click on she has 14,000 subs lana does nails on youtube <gasps> apparently four days ago she uploaded her newest video last serenade let's watch the end guys you better watch the end because i'm gonna uncover all the videos okay this is the first video called the awakening what's going on over here <gasps> oh my gosh okay this is the what we saw just now the missing pictures huh and there's a red door whoa so creepy how dare you lana who is this there's some text at the bottom and then here we have the second video this is where you'll be working there are just three rules don't don't tell them our plans and lastly don't try to escape you don't know what will happen if you do best re regards dr ben oh my gosh wait a second do you see see that the name dr dr ben right that's one of the person's name on the wall this one on the right dr ben official why are they related there's some dark mystery behind this game even though it's so popular and this is a conspiracy i think i found her guys dr ben official on roblox dti lead the developer follow me on roblox i guess she's a dev developer right guys i don't see anything suspicious in her profile so far but i think she's part of the awakening group which is threatening lana okay guys i also found this on lana's profile on tiktok it says decoding lana's bio look at this there's a bunch of weird words over here and it's been coded oh my gosh if you change it it says lana are they listening please tell me they aren't i'm not safe sitting on a desk is not the real lana i'm the real lana hear me i'm the real lana if you all just have said thank you or even smile my direction none of this would have happened i can't say i feel remorse for what's about to happen whoever runs this runway gag is evil everyone behind it is evil i've been taken away from my regular life and forced to labor inhaling all those terrible fumes and ace stones every single day painting those people's nails and one day i will get my revenge <gasps> what and then on this tiktok it shows how to find lana and oh my gosh this this is after everything happened what's happening to dti oh my gosh let's check it out guys let's go to the side and it shows lana's copy what there's a secret lab oh <gasps> evil fake Lana? What? And then the real Lana is dead. Oh, this is so scary. Is she dead? Is Dress and Press turning into a horror game? Exactly! The DTI lore is insane. Oh my gosh, this is the latest news, guys. And also, a sneak peek on how they clone Lana. This is what they are showing. This is the same thing. Oh my gosh, this is so scary, guys. Someone says, didn't Gigi have something to do with this on the game called Forest? Gigi doesn't run Lana's account. It's someone else, but Gigi gets the accounts. So I don't think so. Oh, okay, guys, this is my theory about Lana in that game. I think Lana was an unemployed 26-year-old lady who applied to many jobs till she was accepted by Gigi, who is the owner of the nail salon. But I also think Lana 
Mama didn't have a good feeling about this. She needed the money to play and to pay her hospital bills because she was diagnosed with a chronic disease that will leave her in debt for the rest of her life. So she had to keep paying. So she finally accepted the job as a nail worker at Gigi's nail salon. So guys, there are three rules to the nail salon as we read just now. Lana has to follow all these rules for five years until Gigi decides to use players as experiments. But Lana couldn't let that happen. So she told everybody about it. And before Lana got caught, she wrote in her diary, Dear Diary Awakening, look, it says this, I think they found me. By some twisted miracle, they found me. They know what I've been plotting against them and they come to hurt me. For leaking information, they promoted to pay off my medical debts. If I kept it a secret, however, they wanted me to go against my morale. I think I shouldn't have told them. Well, after this, Lana and other players and Gigi and the owner runs it now. And it took Lana and me and hundreds of doppelgangers to replace Nana. So no one could really tell where she was because there's so many doppelgangers of Lana that are actually not her, even though she confessed during her awakening. Next, I'm going to talk about the coitery at the start of this. So Lana created a coitery to help her figure out the awakenings and Gigi's plant. There are six members of this coitery when I did some research. So this is the first one called Alexi. And then Sunny's the second, Raphael's the third, Nelly, Michael, and then there's Jasmine. Okay, so when we visit Sadie's profile, it says a bunch of weird stuff under her about page. I'm going to decipher this message and decode it. Okay, I found out that this is what it actually means. My death was planned by Lana. Not evil. The coterie is not just some group to help her. They're her sacrifices. <gasps> what? Is Lana in some sort of cult group thingy? That's so scary. Oh my gosh, what have we just stumbled upon, guys? The plot has totally thickened. And this is Gigi's profile. Oh my gosh, the owner of the nail salon. Is she really evil? She looks kind of pretty and nice. I also think that Jisoo, Jayla, and Nicholas were in the coterie before as well. But they're now sacrificed and dead. Maybe Sadie is still alive. Also, this group could just be Lana sacrificing people. This could be a theory. Okay, guys. So next, I recorded down a message when Gigi was in game talking to someone else. Okay, she says Lana is. She's the one behind the awakening. She's telling other people. She stole the missing uh, dress and press wigs. That's so weird. That's all Lana's fault. She's the one hurting us. Is Lana dead? No, Lana is spreading false information. She kidnapped me and is holding me hostage. What? Who's the bad guy here? It's confusing, guys. Do you think the real villain is Gigi or Lana, guys? Who is the real victim here? Now, the newest update, there has been some really strange things happening in this game called the questionnaire when I did research. So there's a video of the questionnaire with the newest update. So it says no executions were occurred and I'm serious. What's that about? Oh, I think they're talking or something. I want to tell you something. Oh, Nelly's saying to the horizon. There, there's Nelly over there. I planned something special for you. Lana, don't. For all of you, give me your... Lana, they're fighting. Nelly, what do you think you're doing? Oh my gosh, actually, Nelly, I do have something to tell you. There are people around. Are they all sacrifices? Jasmine told me about your chats with you and Nathan. I wonder what you're doing. Planning something against me? Oh, Jasmine, you know her. She's full of lies. And you are too, Lana. Don't act like we don't know what you've been planning to do the patrons. I'll give you a minute to take it back. And then there's a bunch of swearing and gibberish. I don't need a minute because I don't take it back. What? Nelly, I did not want to do this. Oh no, is she gonna sacrifice her? You? Help! Oh, what's going on? Oh my gosh, someone appeared. Nathan came to the rescue. The other guy. Oh look, Nathan's back. Huh? And where were you? Lana, your reign ends now. Oh my gosh, they're fighting. Are you two threatening me? Yes, in fact, we are. Do you want to face the consequences? Did they find out what Lana was doing? You could try, but you will fail. And how'd you know that? Didn't you need to hide away from me? Get away from us. You're lucky Jasmine told me what you were planning. Girl, Jasmine's a snake. She literally only here to suck up to you and your evil plans. Wait, what? That's what? Nelly's saying. Yes, evil. And stop trying to act innocent. That's what Nathan said. Right, we know everything about you. Lana, this entire time has been recruiting all of you for evil. And after research, it appears Gigi is the victim, not Lana. You're full of lies. I'm laughing. You know what? I'm fed up with the both of you. Everyone, this is what happens if you betray me. That's what Lana says to everyone. Try us. Yeah, Lana, it doesn't feel so good when there's two against one, huh? Oh my gosh, is she really evil? You have no power against me. Uh oh, you want to catch these hands? Yeah, where's your weapon? Oh no, 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 she's holding a weapon. Lana's holding a weapon. I'm laughing. Try me. Oh, uh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, they're all, ho all holding weapons. Oh my gosh, Nathan is holding something. Is that Lee Nana? You're over and nobody believes you. We denounce your lies and now you face the consequences. Girl, get out of my chair. Jasmine, what's Jasmine gonna do? We took care of Jasmine. Yes, nobody can help you now. Don't try to call Alexo. He won't help you. After what we told him, he won't want to. Nathan, let's get her before you do that. Girl, you don't play with us. You forgot one thing. I have the players. Will you save Lana? No. Or yes. Thankfully, everybody says no. And then in the update, what happened after that? Now what happened to Nicholas? No, okay, I'm not naming all of them because it keeps getting killed. All the people you killed and sacrificed, something's gonna happen to you. Oh, Blackout, what happened? Oh my gosh, she did! Put the knife in. Oh my gosh, we did it.
Twitter. They unalive Lana. They're saying, don't feel remorse for her because she's been tricking and using everyone for sacrifices. And then he says, can I get a period? And everyone's spamming period. I'm just overjoyed. We're all free. I wish the day quarterly members were here to see this. Did Lana really unalive the old day quarterly members? It's heartbreaking they're not here to see this. It's so preppy in here. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, that was so creepy, guys. There's so much that was just revealed for us. The, after that happened, her profile changed into this. She was wearing a bloody shirt and her eye patch. This makes a lot of sense. But then in the about section, it says, trust me, I'll be back soon. My reign will never be over. You just kill one of me. <gasps> Does she do black magic or something? This is yo crazy, yo. And then after that, she uploaded a new video, which we're going to watch right now. It says, as my body lays for everyone to see. <gasps> what? And my soul will be there for everyone to see. My soul withers away. Just remember, this isn't over yet. There is still <gasps> more V to come. Oh my gosh. And I'm sure this time it will be successful. Oh my gosh. Because I've opened the gate. Oh my gosh, what type of gate? And then she, after that, she made a new group called Plague. And then in this Plague group, there's 6,000 members already. It says, when you voluntarily enter the portal, don't be surprised about the traversity that occur when you show up. And then she she puts a shout out at the bottom telling everybody, I get me mon, I hear your call. I hear it well. I'm following your voice. And perhaps it'll lead me to the portal you told me about. Oh, uh, she turned into some sort of monster. Who is I get me mon? Um, this is so creepy, man. And look at the comments. We will get you soon, Lana. <laughs> Everyone is against her right now, but they're in a group still, I think. I found a game called Questionnaire. We're gonna go inside and see what actually happens. Oh my gosh. So this is where it all happened. There are like four sacrifices tied over there linked to the portal. That's so creepy. Oh my gosh. Is that the portal she was talking about? But where is she herself? She's not even here. <gasps> I'm pretty sure these are the old four dead coterie members, I think. Oh my gosh. That's so scary. But their names are not on top of it, which is kind of weird. And then, okay, here's Nicholas, Jisoo, and Jayla. These are probably the other ones that were dead and a picture of her. What in the world? That's so creepy, guys. Oh my gosh. Is she gonna come back? I bet there are more theories and secrets about this. Oh, um, I don't know if I want to play Dress and Press anymore, but I still love the game so much. Do you think Gigi's actually the bad one? Comment down below if you think so. I bet there's gonna be more interesting theories and stories, guys, with this conspiracy. Totally, right? Oh my gosh. Comment down below what you think right now.